everyone and welcome to my channel on astronomy and astrophotography. Today I shall show you some of the equipment which I use for capturing photons from outer space. Over the past nine years I have uh, had five telescopes. I still have three of them. Uh, my first one was a Celestron uh, uh, eight inch black tube uh, Schmidt Cassegrain telescope on the Celestron uh, CG5 advanced GT equatorial mount. I had to sell that mount quite a few months into the purchase because it had a manufacturing defect in the gears. Now uh, that apart, after that I purchased a Skywatcher 200mm f5 Newtonian reflector on the HEQ5 Pro go-to mount. I still have the mount uh, to this day, it was bought in 2012, so it's nearly 6 years now, almost 6 years this August. Um, but the telescope I have sold on to a friend and purchased the GSO 6 inch RC which I will uh, speak about a little later. So now I shall show you the equipment that I use. Okay, so this is uh, my Orion uh, ATED um, doublet APO refractor telescope. Um, along with that you can see the Orion uh, field flattener for short refractors and uh, a finder scope uh, which is uh, what I use as my guider therefore it doesn't have the eyepiece attached to it this is the um, all too famous uh, GSO 6 inch uh, F9 uh, Ricci Crescian uh, Cassegrain telescope um, several brands I've seen uh, they uh, get it from uh, GSO and then uh, rename it as Orion, Altair Astro, Omegon, uh, Prima Luce Lab I guess um, then um, there are there are Astrotech uh, several several uh, brands actually um, but uh, essentially it's the same telescope um, what I have is a Star Tracker. Star Tracker is a, I think, a local uh, Indian uh, guy, importer, uh, who has his office in Mumbai, uh, formerly Bombay. Um, I'll show you what's inside the telescope. The telescope has a primary mirror of uh, 6 inch aperture and uh, um, 1350 uh, mm uh, focal length uh, we are looking down the tube um, you will not be able to see baffles from this angle uh, but it has uh, very nice knife edge baffles uh, to stop uh, scattered light it's a, it's a nice handy uh, instrument the other one that I have here on my chair is again named Star Tracker, but it's still the GSO 6 inch F4 Newtonian. Very compact and extremely handy. Um, that's my toolbox there with all sorts of bits and bobs, what I use for astronomy, astrophotography. Um, so these three telescopes um, I use uh, depending on uh, what I want to image. But uh, this is the kit that I have. What we have here is the QHY9 uh, CCD camera uh, with the uh, filter wheel. It has uh, the thin version of the filter wheel, 17 millimeters. Um, seven uh, filters have been uh, put in there. Um, I have Bader filters. Um, I found them to be reasonable in price and uh, good quality for what I pay. I have the QHY5L2 monochrome. Uh, camera which uh, I've been using as my guide camera. I also have a GSO um, 2 inch coma corrector um, which I use uh, for my Newtonian. I use the Orion uh, field flattener for uh, my RC. Uh, it, it seems to be working well because field curvature is field curvature so regardless uh, of the fact that it's coming from a refractor or a Cassegrain it shouldn't uh, matter much as what I thought just an experiment. I don't seem to be having any field curvature with my uh, DSLR APS-C sensor. So um, that's what's attached here. Um, this is the Canon uh, Rebel T1i. Um, 
So that, uh, that, that, that's the 500D, uh, popularly known as the Canon 500D, um, beginner's DSLR. Um, what I did was I bought it off uh, second hand from a photographer in Bangalore and uh, I opened the camera um, and uh, removed the IR filter uh, based on the directions given by Gary Honus. So this is uh, the color camera that I use sometimes. Um, but I've been using uh, the QHY9 monochrome, uh, monochrome camera uh, quite effectively. Um, I've shot Rosette and Horsehead. Uh, seems to have come out quite well, save for the collimation issues that I faced with this uh, RC and uh, the Newtonian a little bit. There was some slop in the focuser. I think I'll uh, sort that out this season. Now we have seen uh, all three of my telescopes. I'm planning to buy a few more, a um, couple more at least. I'm really, really addicted to telescopes. I just love them, regardless of the fact that I'm not getting a chance to use them. Uh, but uh, why, why do we uh, require uh, so many telescopes? I mean, is there no one size fits all? I'm afraid the answer is a little bit of yes and quite a bit of no. Um, that's what I learned because. Uh, Forgive the background noise, there are children are playing on the apartment corridors. Um, it really gets busy during holidays. It's a Saturday today. So back to business. So yes, the refractor um, I use for uh, wide field. Uh, we all use it for wide field. It's an f7.5. Uh, but uh, even though that, that is considered a little bit of uh, a slow scope, um, it still gives me a nice field of view with my APS-C as well as with my QHY9. Um, the Newtonian, of course, it's it's amazing because it's an f4, uh, just 600 mm and 6 inch, so it's it's really good. It gives me almost an identical feel to the 80 mm uh, refractor, but uh, um, it's it's that much faster. Um, so my photon collection is so much more uh, uh, better, uh, if I must say. The um, RC telescope from GSO that 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 I really wanted to use it for uh, shooting uh, galaxies M51 it's 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 a dream I've still not been able to shoot M51 through the RC I've shot it through the 80 mm uh, refractor and the DSLR which makes it like really wide field um, but um, with the RC I'm hoping to zoom in to the details I have H alpha and LRGB that's what I plan to capture. Uh, but uh, I've been going through some collimation conundrums um, but I think I've managed to collimate the RC to quite a high degree of accuracy. I don't have a hubby uh, collimator with a laser, uh, I mean the holographic attachment yet. I uh, hope to get one in the future but uh, I think, I, think uh, I should be able to do a fairly decent job with the RC now. Um, I'm looking forward to clear skies. It's the rainy season now so I doubt if I'll get clear skies for the next uh, three to four months probably best cases uh, end of October is what I'm expecting uh, the uh, skies to clear up um, so yes um, I, I used to do planetary imaging with my 8 inch f5 Newtonian and a uh, 3x uh, Barlow attached to it I think I think I should be able to do something similar with the 6 inch RC and a 2x Barlow perhaps um, I was able to shoot uh, Mars uh, quite well with it, um, but uh, you see how the reason I bought these three telescopes, another reason is uh, image scale. Um, image scale is basically the amount of sky that can be captured per pixel of your uh, camera. So there is a formula uh, to calculate it, uh, widely available online, um, so I won't get into it. Um, but uh, basically I get about, um, between the three of my telescopes, I get anywhere between uh, 1 to 2, uh, 2.5 arc seconds per pixel, uh, which, which is uh, fairly decent. Uh, Bangalore skies I've observed uh, go through uh, 1 to 1.7 arc seconds uh, atmospheric scene. Um, so I think, I think that's fairly decent uh, what I'm getting here. I'm trying to make uh, best use of what I have. Um, going ahead, I think I might be considering to buy at least a, 
a telescope service 65 millimeter uh, quadruplet the tiny telescope which is really nice or probably another quadruplet if I have the money probably even a Takahashi 85 millimeter I also want to upgrade my mount um, hopefully by not selling this one um, to a CEM 60 by Ioptron that's that's a really nice mount I've seen a lot of astrophotographers uh, use it it's got a very good uh, payload capacity I think it's a tad better than the Skywatcher uh, NEQ6 Pro mount um, so that's it um, I mean uh, these days are spent uh, reading uh, online material uh, being jealous of people who take nice photos while we are suffering from rains uh, but uh, having said that I'm, I am uh, definitely looking forward to this season uh, the upcoming season because uh, I've planned uh, things out well and my equipment is ready I've updated my softwares and I'm just waiting for clear skies thank you everyone for watching my show